If you are from Boca Raton, Florida, you may be interested in out-of-state investing. Why do I know this? For two reasons. One, Boca Raton's expensive. Two, you clicked on a video that is like about out-of-state investing if you're from Boca Raton, right? Like, as I write this, I haven't made the title of the video yet, but I'm assuming I made the title uh, somewhere along the lines of like, hey, yo, Boca Raton investors are investing out-of-state. Like, watch this video, right? So uh, because of that, I could assume you're into that thing, right? If you're into, I don't know, cats doing cartwheels, I would imagine the types of videos you'd want to click on would say something along the lines of cats doing cartwheels. So that said, we're all on the same page. You're a cat, not an actual cat, figurative cat. Cat as in like a synonym for guy, kind of like dude. You know what I'm saying, bro? Not actually my brother, but you get where I'm going. Anywho, so you are a person in Florida, Boca Raton, and you want to invest out of state. And because of that, you came here to this video, and you're watching me work with somebody just like you. My guy, Jason, investor from Boca Raton. And Jason, you've tasked me to find you low-cost, high cash flow multifamily properties. And I got one for you, bro. This one came back on the market recently. This was on the market uh, like six months ago or something, right? I originally uh, looked into this property the day after WrestleMania 2022, okay? And uh, then I did it for like an investor. My investor was never able to secure the property. The sellers took it off the market or whatever. Now, <clears throat> months later, they've put it back on the market, and they put it back on the market a little cheaper. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you uh, my original analysis. In that analysis, I thought 155 would be the right, the right price point. Uh, but since then, we've like shifted from a seller's market more to a buyer's market, so I think people like you can be more aggressive. And I actually believe that uh, everything that I'm going to show you in that analysis is still accurate, except for the one thing I want to change is I think we should go 145 versus 155. Take a look. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise, and I am here to bring y'all the deals. This one right here, folks. Oh! This thing is a boo, 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 boo. I don't even know what that was, but I just wanted a shadow box and make sweet sound effects because today is Monday after WrestleMania weekend, and I am so jacked. I don't know how many of you out there are big-time wrestling fans, but I know most of you, if not all of you, are real estate fans. And if you're not real estate fans, I don't know how you made it this far into the show. Maybe you just dislike me and you're here to troll. I don't know. But for my wrestling fans, who are also real estate fans, just so you know, Real Estate 316, y'all, it's available. You want to get the swag under the notes, under the video, the notes, you click it, there's links. You go ahead and order the Real Estate 316. Your boy Jay Wise designed this shirt. Use promo code HWTV10 to get a discount. Now, on to what you're all here for. Woo! I'm out of breath. So much shadow boxing. I'm so excited. But anyway, the property, okay? This one, 1771 East 37th Street, Lorain, Ohio. It just hit the market three days ago, priced at $149,000. We're going to move on this thing because this thing is going to sell, okay? This thing is amazing. This is one of the best ever duplexes. Now, you're probably like, bro. Why is this dude so excited about this house, number one? Number two, why is this dude talking about wrestling so much? These are great questions. The answer to the wrestling question, I, I don't know. Honestly, there, there really isn't a good answer to that one. But the other question, what is so great about this? There is definitely some answers to that. It doesn't look special. It really doesn't. You're right, folks, but it is. This is a ranch duplex side-by-side, -side, okay? Now, this is in Lorain, Ohio. This is in the Cleveland, Ohio market. If you're Googling best cash flow markets in the USA, Cleveland, folks, whoo, boy, one of the best. I don't need to tell you that, right? Google could tell you that. Everybody knows that. Now, Lorain is actually about a half hour west 
off the radar, which is good, right? It's actually even more landlord friendly, too, than the city of Cleveland. You see, the city of Cleveland is like 350,000 people, okay? Now, Holton Wise, we do property management, maintenance, and construction in the whole Northeast Ohio area, the whole Cleveland market. But the Cleveland market, folks, is a population of like 5 million. If only 350,000 of those people live in the actual city of Cleveland, that's a lot of people living in the other cities and suburbs, right? Lorraine, one of those suburbs, well, not really a suburb, it's like 30 minutes out, but in the general area, another standalone city, right? I mean, technically, yes, a uh, suburb is a standalone city. They have their own mayors and this or that, but this is in the Cleveland area, but a lot of you are not paying attention to it because you're just like, oh, Cleveland area must have an address that says Cleveland, Ohio, right? That's what a lot of people do. And that leads a lot of properties in Cleveland to be priced a little bit higher than these Lorraine ones. So I think we're getting better deals in Lorraine, number one. Number two, it's actually even more landlord friendly than Cleveland. Number three, there are no new lead certification laws. In the city of Cleveland, there are these new lead cert laws uh, that are not the end of the world, but they are throwing people for a loop because a lot of realtors and sellers uh, and investors like you don't know about them. And if you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, you should educate yourself on them. I've also, uh, don't worry, folks, I've got a link to that below. I've got a whole bunch of links below uh, this video, including... Uh, how to book a free call with my team to get yourself a video like this live with me where I work with you. So you definitely want to do that. But you also really want to check out the Cleveland-led certification uh, video. Very important, right? I go through the whole process. You need to know it if you're going to be in the Cleveland market, right? A lot of people coming from out of town. So that's information you need. Not the end of the world, but it is kind of a pain in the butt, right? It, it, it's definitely painful, uh, especially if you don't do your due diligence on the buy. So what's cool with the property in Lorraine, you don't even have to mess with that, right? You just skip through all that BS, right? And then Lorraine also has two naval bases, okay? Two naval bases being built, right? That's like three, 4,000 jobs estimated to be brought to the neighborhood, right? When you get more jobs, you get more people. When you get more people, you get a higher demand for housing. What that does is make prices go up, make rent go up. Higher prices, higher rent, what is that? That is good for you if you buy this. Now, ranch duplex, I love that. Many duplexes, got thousands and thousands of tenants living in duplexes that I've dealt with in my life as a professional real estate investor, property manager. Like 95% of them or so, up-down duplexes, okay? Up-down duplexes have a higher frequency of turnover than side-by-sides. Whenever you get the opportunity to buy a side-by-side, -side, you got to strike. In addition, something a lot of people might not know if they're new to real estate investing, okay? The down unit in an up-down duplex always rents first, always has a higher demand. It's just what it is. I guess there's a lot of lazy, fat bastards out there who don't want to walk up the steps. And folks, before you go, wow, that was offensive to fat people. I also am a fat person. So I'm grandfathered into making fat jokes. I am allowed to make fat jokes, okay? If I was some skinny guy making fat jokes, we could be like, hey, that's offensive. But, like, fat jokes, I own those. I am allowed, okay? So calm. Now, this being a ranch means both of your units are down units, okay? No stairs, right? Apparently, fat motherfucking tenants don't like stairs. It is what it is. I don't know. Uh, but what that's going to lead us to is very few turnovers, very few days of vacancy, right? It's going to be great. Now, apparently, even though we don't have photos, uh, they refreshed everything around 2021 and put in a couple new tenants. They're paying $750, but I want you to look at the chart. In all actuality, they made a mistake. Market rent's really $875. Uh, that's okay. Holton Wise, when we take over to management, we'll, we'll increase those up, right? We'll run out the current leases, then we'll probably throw like a $25, $50 increase, then another $50 increase, right? Get those bad boys up to market rent, which would be $1,750 a month, $21,000 a year. But folks... You don't get to keep all 21000 running normal fixed and variable expense estimates. We should, in reality, see an approximate NOI of about 11467 every year, right? You're factoring in vacancy, non-payment, turnover, things of that nature. Now, side-by-side -side ranch, I, I expect that stuff to uh, do very, very well there because it's not an up-down. So we may even outperform this. Who knows? 
as far as price goes. They, like I said, asking, uh, what are they asking? 149, yeah? 149, okay? 149. This thing is going to have a bidding war. It's 2022. Shortage of housing. There's always a shortage of duplexes, and there's always a shortage of side-by-side -side ones because there's not a lot built. So this is a great deal. You need to move. Be aggressive. Don't be like, hey, Chives, let's go lowball offer. I'll be like, hey, bro, you're stupid. It's 2022. Lowball offers don't fucking work. You want to make a lowball offer, bro? Go back to 2014, motherfucker. Get your hot tub time machine because that's the only place that lowball offers are going to work. This is 2022. If you want to take this down, and you should, we need to go 155. You go 155, you put down 38 and three quarters. Bank kicks in another 116. I project this to almost 15% cash on cash return. And for all the reasons I had just mentioned, this one is a banger. When you work with me, I call it like I see it. I'll tell you if I think a deal sucks. I'll tell you if I think a deal is like lukewarm, and I'll tell you if I think a deal is smoking hot dangerous. How dangerous? I'm talking calling Jada Pinkett Smith bald in front of Big Willie dangerous, folks. That's how dangerously hot this thing is. It's a good deal. Be aggressive. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.